mejor, ¿sí? Ok. Si, si tenemos que apostar para una, yo le puse so, todas las fichas a esta. If I have to bet on one, I think I will bet all my money on this one, este, vamos a... where I'm sure there will be some like upheated discussions. So let's propose, let's present the next proposal, LAC 2023. The impact assessment has to be mandatory. Let's invite once again, Jordi Pellet to present the proposal. Jordi, you will have seven minutes to present it. So it's, you have the floor. This proposal updates the PDP based on a question that was raised in the past few months with regards to the impact assessment being mandatory. Um, AI, as you see on screen, is how I shorten impact assessment. I will say the assessment. There's something very important in case some questions come up and we had a rehearsal the other day I had never taken part on a forum rehearsal because I usually have the IPv6 tutorial at the same time but some participants were already considering and I'm sure others might have the same question that making the impact mandatory could add additional costs which is not the case because staff usually do it anyway. We are just making it official and we are also setting specific deadlines as it happens with other uh, registries. Now, when speaking about the three to one section of the PDP and speaking of the role of the chairs, as I said before, we, some people at least thought, including myself really, who, are, who I drafted the current version of the PDP, that the impact assessment is what was mentioned under this section. Now, the staff think this is not the case, and that's where the discrepancy arises. Now, another problem is that many times we are not communicating the availability of the impact assessment. I have reviewed mailing lists, and sometimes this is communicated to the author. I don't know, because of course I'm not the author to all, of all proposals. I've been notified in some cases, not others, and it has not been notified uh, uh, through the list either. So we really need to make adjustments to the procedures. I know this is not part or should not be part of the proposal, but the assessment, even though it's not the ultimate work, it does help the community, especially the authors, to make decisions about making amendments or changes or new versions to do or not to do or to accept or not accept a proposal. In fact, in several cases, the lack of an impact assessment on time once the proposal is being presented on the forum has been used as an argument against these proposals. And really we are losing valuable time because the community might agree with the proposal and minor changes were made, but consensus was not reached at the time because there was no impact assessment in place. And that's very sad. It doesn't make sense that from one version to another, if there are minor changes and practically maybe clarifications or resolutions of the past impact assessment, that impact assessment should not, it doesn't make sense that it takes more time or even the same time that the one conducted before, that does not make sense. So all of these reasons uh, to, uh, uh, resulted in this new proposal. It's a very simple text. What I propose is that point three to one, speaking about the roles of the chairs, that we should eliminate it. I eliminated it because the role or those tasks, I think, should be LACNIC, uh, should be LACNIC roles, not uh, responsibilities of the chairs. And I'll go back to this, but now I will use this uh, in the section that describes LACNIC's uh, responsibility. I would word it differently and I will change the deadlines. It said four weeks and maybe in extraordinary cases, I would allow two additional weeks 
to LACNIC to conduct the impact assessment. That is basically my proposal. We don't need to read the text. In summary, that is what uh, I am proposing. And I have to say that AFRINIC actually uh, underwent the same process. We as authors complained that we did not receive the impact assessments and the staff, without a need to a proposal really, the staff said that the impact assessment had to be published in four weeks, and actually that's what they are doing. In 18 innings PDP, it's different. It's only a five-step five PDP, so they don't discuss all of this, but they do conduct impact assessments. They've been doing so for two years, I think, and they do very quickly. RN is different, but it's usually also done in four weeks, and REAP is done mandatory in four weeks, and I think I will have no, 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 no return. I will have uh, not the opportunity to reply later on, right, Ariel? Do you agree? So by replying to those items that I think my proposal should have certain modifications based on the impact assessment that was not announced on the list, but I remember it was published. The, the, the comments that the chairs will receive are not LIE. I do not agree with this because I drafted the current PDP, but of course, so we should keep that item. It doesn't make a difference as it is in the current PDP. That means the chair can request additional aspects to LACNIC in addition to the impact assessment and that these uh, LACNIC attributions or responsibilities should be added. So we're speaking about two types of information. One, the impact assessment as it's being carried out today. And if the, if the chairs think that they need additional information, this can also be provided. So that's how we, we resolve the impact assessment on this proposal. Four weeks. Well, I think if other rears are doing it in four weeks, how come LACNIC is not? In any case, considering that the difficulty lies in the fact that the couple of weeks before the event, well, I have no problem in making more flexible, and so we should not take those four weeks before the events to take into account because we are overburdened. It, it would be an additional burden. With regards to costs, costs, cost, because there's a thing about the words in Spanish, costo and coste, costo with an O means an equivalent. So I think that it's an equivalent to drug, but if there are synonyms, synonyms, we should not use that word. I know it sounds like a joke, but it's not. I am trying to use a word in Spanish that doesn't have different meanings in other countries. And I know it seems a joke, like a joke, but I think this is important to mention. And of course, I don't want consensus to, to be measure because it is one of the attributions of the author because eight days ago I presented a new version solving these aspects. I added additional slides that I will not read, but they are there if you want to have access to them. Um, primero, vuelvo a recalcar. First of all, I highlight again for the entire community or the audience that it never, it has never justified, and it doesn't justify, uh, at least from our point of view as chairs, that something be done in our region that uh, uh, that uh, um, is done in other regions. Uh, I, if RIPE or ARIN or APNIC does something in a certain way and we don't, so it is not justified. So this is just a comment. We won't, no, we'll analyze it for the part of us, uh, part of uh, the consensus. On the other hand, your proposal version two has not been published yet. It's uh, in uh, a process uh, because it didn't reach here in time. It wouldn't have made sense to analyze version one when there's already a version two in the oven. And uh, we could have presented some other a different thing, but uh, that's all. The fact that uh, there is uh, a version two already being prepared, even if you consider that we don't have to reach a consensus, we're still going to do it because this is the version that is in the forum. And we are interested in knowing and hearing the feedback of this community, uh, of the community of this version. So in a, 
uh, three point four two um, uh, the um, authors may decide whether they send a new version and we sent it um, eight more than eight days ago the staff didn't have time to publish it but that doesn't mean that you have to measure consensus if you want to measure it anyway i have no problems but i think that uh, it wasn't wouldn't be honest not to state it yes we're going to measure it because this is part of what we're interested in hearing the input to see what the people think about the proposal, because if not, it wouldn't have made sense to present a version one. So now let's invite Mariela, who is going to present the impact analysis in five minutes. We can't hear you, Mariela. Can you hear me now? Yes, perfect. So impact analysis of 2020, 2023, the impact analysis is mandatory. Our interpretation of the proposal by the staff of the LACLIC is that it applies to the uh, PDP and uh, it modifies three to one of the uh, role of uh, the year chairs and uh, the item four of the obligations of LACNIC. As we interpreted what the proposal does, is to delete in three to one where it says receive comments by the staff it's uh, it uh, touches upon uh, an, uh, receiving comments about uh, different aspects of a proposal of the policy these comments may include among others comments on the addition of the text employed and the cost of the implementation of the proposal on some legal issues about uh, the location of the proposal so so the idea the proposal is to remove that and to add in uh, item four, LACNIC will publish an impact analysis of each version of uh, each proposal in form reporting it in uh, the public policy list uh, in uh, a maximum time of four weeks. Uh, and in extraordinary cases, it may extend a further uh, two weeks, justifying the reasons and presenting a draft uh, version. And it uh, may include um, uh, the uh, implement application and uh, changes in uh, previous versions, comments, recommendations, impact in um, the register system, cost of implementation, and uh, related suggestions. Our comments are that, is our, that uh, the moderators may receive comments by the staff, as currently stated in uh, point three to one. This is not referred to specifically in the impact analysis, but it includes receiving questions about uh, uh, receiving answers to questions in the list uh, during uh, the uh, forum uh, and uh, questions uh, answers to questions by the chairs privately to be able to interpret the impact of a policy and to help with the discussion and uh, to um, remove of the role of the moderators the power of receiving comments by the staff about the public policy the, this might limit the capacity of adequately managing the PDP and uh, um, it is complex to establish a four week limit for these analysis. The impact analysis require the co coordination between different areas of LACNIC, the communication with the NIR, and frequently uh, queries to other registries, sometimes in the policy area and sometimes in the registry area. Considering that the impact analysis are a key tool in the debate, we believe that there is no need to attend an arbitrary. Uh, deadline since it could result in super shallow um, impact analysis. Like Nico said that uh, publishing a draft version does not contribute to the de debate. It might be counterproductive since it may not contain all the variables. Our recommendations are to eliminate the arbitrary deadlines and to prioritize the impact analysis that cover all the relevant aspects. If um, now they were to decide that the impact analysis must need a uh, maximum time or we'll recommend eight weeks. And those proposals that are presented uh, four weeks prior to the forum, uh, must, mm, there must not be mandatory to, to contain uh, any impact analysis previous to the forum. So this proposal uh, has impact on the uh, staff. It does not have uh, an impact on the registry system, and it could be implemented immediately. Thank you, Mariela. Good. So now 
Let's start the 10 minute discussion. We invite you all to share your doubts, uh, views or comments. Uh, remember to say that if you uh, are in favor or against, please add it in your comment. And the other thing is, if you're only going to put in favor or against, don't even write it down because we are going to vote later. So if you use the Q&A, leave some uh, questions or comments and why you're in favor or against. Thank you, Ariel. So far, I have one single comment by Ricardo Patara, says against. To start, it's a, a proposal presented about a month ago in the list with no comments. That's all. Ricardo, nuevamente. Eh, la forma como propone el autor deja el PDP más complejo e incluso más. And here it says them. The way the author proposal it makes it more complex and even more limited. A concern with the proposal uh, could suggest a discussion and uh, is capable. It maybe now it is necessary to have information of like such as a potential impact. Well, actually, the impact analysis is being done for all the proposals and all the versions, except, uh, and this is, makes sense, when you send a version in 10 days because uh, there is a mistake uh, or things like that. That makes sense. And maybe I forgot to include that detail in the text, but I think that it would absolutely make sense for you to accept it like that because it's the author that is correcting the version in a very short time. But in general terms, what Ricardo is saying, from my point of view, doesn't make sense. In, and I think that everything was clarified, especially clarifying that the version that uh, I presented already solved the problem of the impact analysis. Thank you, Jordi. Vamos a ver si hay algún otro no estoy teniendo más. Now let's see if there are any other comments. No estoy teniendo más comentarios por el momento. I have no more comments here. So we invite the people. This is a proposal that we presented in the Friday workshop. Some things appeared. I have a long comment by Augusto Maturin. He says, at least for this version, I'm against. From this point of view, LACNICA meets uh, the um, uh, uh, contributes with the impact analysis and in reasonable times. Uh, and what it could uh, improve uh, is uh, that uh, in some cases, uh, uh, it could improve uh, the uh, uh, depth of their comments. And sometimes they are not clear. It's not clear what are the times estimated in the implementation. I don't think that it makes sense to put a four week deadline with the possibility of expanding it to six. I see that it's more practical to do it, direct, put it directly into six weeks since we don't know when an extraordinary case is. I'm sorry, sometimes I have to, uh, I am an elderly man and sometimes I, it takes me some time to answer. No, well, by no means do I want to be um, uh, pejorative with the work of the staff. I wanted to, we, I found a contradiction because that the staff was interpreting that the impact analysis was different from the request for comments. And that's why I presented a new version. So I'm clarifying the thing, but I'm not uh, pejorative to the work done by uh, by LACNIC. As to whether what, what other RIRs are done, we shouldn't care about it. It's not like that because the staff analyzes what other RIRs do. So it may sound a contradiction, but it is the reality. If in other cases it is being done in that with that deadline, that's okay. Why giving a four week term with a potential for six? because there may be very complex proposals that may require six weeks, but in many cases, the staff has done it in with less than four weeks, but sometimes it, they went too late. Sometimes it took them much, much longer, but then they did it very speedily. So I think that that clarifies everything. Thank you. 
Senator Labrador says, I'm in favor with the proposal since uh, it would formalize the impact analysis, enabling us to have uh, more information to discuss the consensus. The issue of timing is important, but I think that it should be discussed further. That is Cesar Labrador. Rolando Ricapa, in favor. It is necessary to conduct an impact analysis because it clarifies the, the impact of a proposal from the point of view of the staff. And it is if it is if time is important, I would be I would prefer six weeks. Any comments, Jordi? No, none, because I think that I answered them. But reading them again, I see that there's part of what Ricardo said that I didn't answer, and I'm worried about it because I don't understand how he is interpreting it. What the other it says that it makes uh, the process more limited and more complex. Absolutely not. The impact analysis of the staff is recognizing that uh, they want to make it mandatory. But the staff is saying that the impact analysis is different than the attributions of requesting more information from the chairs. And I agree with that. So honestly, I asked I, I presented another version so that's why I didn't want uh, consensus to be voted just that Ricardo says that the proposals uh, must follow their flow they should be modeled to uh, pay attention to uh, to heed to uh, concern of LACNIC in the community must be free to go forward and in the worst uh, case scenario if uh, uh, the board should have a role. I think that the, the board should ratify a proposal only under very exceptional situations. That wouldn't, shouldn't be the rule. That should be absolutely an exception and not as Ricardo seemingly points out, that he says, well, if you don't uh, reach in time to, with the impact analysis, then you go to the board. No, that's not the case. Um, Guillermo Pagliero says, I think that the impact analysis is positive, but I don't think that uh, you should put deadlines to the staff nor make it ma mandatory. I think that that should be up to the staff. I think that uh, if you're against it, it would be clear, um, better if you could uh, clarify it. Insisto en que el staff, I eh, insist that the staff is considering it mandatory because they're always doing it. Lo que hacemos con so, la propuesta es, in a way, what we do with the proposal is to make it official. Estoy en contra. Aclara Guillermo. Gracias, Guillermo. I am Guillermo. against. Guillermo says, I am against in how it is worded at the moment. Bien. Okay. Quedan dos minutos. No sé si alguien más quiere hablar. We have two hablar. minutes left. Is there anyone else that would like to make a comment? No? Bueno. No? Um, el autor... Eh, pidió expresamente de que no se mida. The author has expressly said not to get a, a feel of the of the proposal and to do the poll. Thomas, uh, we would like to to know what the community thinks. Although there's a new version of this proposal to be published, let me just make it clear: the poll. I mean, it might be used as an indicator, but it's contrary to the PDP because it says that I can present a new version at any point. So it really does not make sense to do the poll. Maybe to get an idea. Okay, but point three two four, the PDP paragraph number four is what states that. Okay, so while I look for point three two four, paragraph four, um, I will let's move on. I mean, I know you can submit a proposal any day, any time, even while we are evaluating consensus. But let's uh, go ahead with the, with the poll with regards to this proposal. And let's see what the community has to say. And remember, this alone is not enough to, to define consensus for a specific proposal. Can we run the poll? 
para la propuesta LAC 2023 versión so, 1. Propuesta LAC 2023 versión 1 en favor, against o abstención. We have one minute for the poll. Ciento cincuenta y siete participantes. We have one hundred and fifty seven attendees plus forty three panelists. Muy bien. Habiendo pasado el minuto. Okay, it's been one minute. So these are the results. Han participado aproximadamente unas 60 personas. About 60 people voted. La propuesta LAC 2023 en versión So the proposal LAC 20 23 version 1 mandatory impact assessment it's still in stage 1 the initial discussion stage and on november 2nd will be the deadline the, the two weeks so we have a new version coming up so in the upcoming days, we will let you know how we move forward with this proposal under the policy development process. Thank you, Maka.